take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a slow, warm, controlled feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, give permission to yourself to just let go of any stress, any tension, any worries that may be playing on your mind. Breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation and just exhaling that tension. And I wonder where tension may be hiding within you. Maybe the muscle tissue of your jaw, neck or shoulders. Maybe in the tendons, in your arms or legs. Maybe in the tiny muscles of your eyelids or the muscles on your forehead or around your temple. There's tiny muscles around your vocal cords, even around your mouth and your lips. So as you breathe in and breathe out, notice how good it feels to just let go. That you don't need that tension here and now. All you need to do is to breathe in and breathe out, becoming increasingly aware of tiny changes. Maybe you can notice the slowing down of each breath. Maybe you can notice the speed of your own heartbeat. Maybe you can notice each and every time you have a tiny swallow. If there's a tiny twitch somewhere in your body and almost become an observer of these things. Noticing a change, a transition, a movement towards deep, powerful relaxation and change. I want you to use the power of your imagination to remember a time when you were in a library. Maybe it was the first library you can remember visiting. And maybe you can tap into a sense of curiosity or wonder at what is contained in all those books. When you think of a library, there are thousands of lives that have dedicated time to distill creativity, knowledge and insight and wisdom into the very pages of those books. And I want you to imagine exploring that very library you can remember. And you're looking for an old special book with a story of wisdom and resources. And some of the most powerful resources are not money or material things. Some of the most powerful resources are what lies within you. So imagine finding a book that perhaps has some wisdom or insight into accessing those resources. Maybe it's an old book leather bound but imagine discovering it maybe hidden on a part of the library that people don't often see and imagine picking up that book and going somewhere quiet in the library and as you look at the pages imagine that anyone else in the library almost disappears 
because isn't that what happens when you become immersed in an interesting story it's almost like the entire world doesn't exist just your thoughts connecting with a story so as you breathe in and breathe out imagine making yourself comfortable and starting to read that story only in this story you can perhaps imagine what it would be like to be the main character in the story and rather than reading the words on the page in your own voice allow my voice to be those words freeing up your imagination to explore the world that exists in those pages once upon a time in a tranquil village nestled amongst rolling hills and serene lakes there lived a wise elder known to all as the sage of serenity this wise sage had a secret garden a magical place where the air shimmered with a calm so pure any who entered felt an immediate wave of acceptance wash over them one day a traveler weary from life's turmoil and troubles stumbled upon this garden the sage welcomed him with a gentle smile saying appreciate the beauty around you and the traveler felt his senses heighten noticing the vibrant colors and delicate fragrances of the flowers as they walked the sage guided focus on the sound of the trickling stream and the traveler did finding his thoughts clearing and his inner strength growing they paused by the water and the sage whispered let go of your burdens and the traveler felt his worries drift away with the flowing water it wasn't long before the sage then urged feel the joy in this moment and a spontaneous smile spread across the traveler's face with each step the sage offered gentle suggestions embrace the power within you and the traveler stood taller more confident than before in the heart of the garden they found a crystal clear pond that was reflecting the sky the sage invited observe the reflection of the clouds and see how effortlessly they change shape and the traveler saw how change could be beautiful and effortless the sage's words were like seeds of peace planting themselves within the traveler's soul honor your journey thus far he advised and a profound sense of respect for himself and his path blossomed within the traveler as the sun began to set 
casting a golden glow over the garden. The sage said, Feel the oneness with nature. And the traveller felt a deep connection to the world around him. Welcome the freedom that comes with the peace. And the traveller's heart soared as if he had sprouted wings. They spent time to connect with their own thoughts until the sage finally spoke. Carry gratitude with you. And the traveller felt a warm, fulfilling gratitude for this experience, for the sage and for the newfound emotional riches he now possessed. As the traveller left the garden, he realised he was not the same person who had entered. He carried with him a treasure trove of resourceful emotional states, a gift from the sage of serenity and a wellspring of wisdom to access whenever the need arose. And from that day on, wherever his journey took him, he spread the seeds of this wisdom, touching the lives of all he met with the magic of the garden, a legacy of transformation and inner peace. The story didn't say what happened next to that traveller, what new adventures lay on the horizon, just that the traveller felt better equipped to deal with the future that lay before them. So imagine closing the book and imagine placing the book exactly where you found it. And perhaps, just like the traveller, you start to feel that a different version of you will leave the library than the version of you that arrived. So feel now like you're leaving that very same library and imagine what it would feel like to drift back to the present, taking whatever has awakened within you back home, back to the present. And I wonder what now lies before you, possibilities, experiences, goals and adventures. As you return to the present, you acknowledge that all of this are just thoughts within thoughts, ideas within ideas, and dreams within dreams. As you return to the present, you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose and start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, feeling connected in the here and the now. And very soon I will count from one to ten to awaken you and you will awaken feeling resourceful, optimistic, relaxed and yet with a newfound sense of clarity as to what you want in life and feeling you have the resources to achieve it, starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.